in that same interview, before that and beyond, I consistently make a distinction between Islam as a set of ideas, as an organizing principle, as a faith, and Muslims. And thank you, Farah, for hearing me. When you take Muslims, one-fifth of humanity, of which one billion is under the age of 30, you will be amazed and you find yourselves noting over and over and over again how diverse they are. Okay, so we agree on Muslim diversity. Let's take the doctrine now, Islam. Islam unreformed as a political doctrine, the insistence on not separating religion from politics, unreformed, at this point, insists more on life after death than it does on life before death. So it unreformed, it is a nihilistic cult of death. But Muslims, being free agents, can reform it. And Muslims being free agents, and this is what we've seen since the Arab Spring, and that's what inspired me to write my latest book, Heretic, is I'm seeing a growing number of young Muslims who from the inside reject some of the most basic Islamic doctrine. They want a separation of religion from politics. They're fighting for women's rights. Therefore, in order to talk about Islam as a doctrine, is not to declare war on Muslims. I embrace Muslims. I reject with absolutely everything in me Islamic law. 